here we have the front pieces lay side front on the center front right side facing on both sides as shown starting from the blouse hem sew by 0.5 inch all the way to the armhole ensure the fabrics match up on reaching the armhole notch along the seam line to open up the curves see the right side after sewing go ahead to sew the other front piece in the same way starting from the hem to the armhole and notching the curves as shown here is the right side look next we assemble the back first here are the center back pieces and then these side pieces lay the side back on the center back in a similar way as done for the front pieces start from the hem sew by 0.5 inch till the armhole create multiple notches along the seam line retrim the armhole if necessary repeat the same joining process on the other back piece it is time to join the center back lay right sides together and sew by 0.5 inch create notches as well i have gone ahead to press open the seams here showing are the front pieces and this is the back piece kindly repeat the aforementioned joining process for the lining pieces next we are to fix the bra cup and it should lay on the lining piece like this to make the cup deeper bend to the reverse side like so and hold a dart stopping at the nipple point sew by 0.5 inch as shown see the deeper copy effect after sewing place on fold again to notch the bottom place the under bust length from the shoulder here is 16.5 inches highlight that point place the notch created on the cup right on the under bust mark pin in place the bra cup should be two inches away from the center front secure the bra cup once again with a pin fill in the cup with the lining fabric as shown spreading and ensuring the cup's depth has sufficient fabric in it pin the other upper corner like so it is now time to sew around the cup backstitch at the start point sewing 0.25 inch away from the cup's edge and on reaching the end point backstitch again showing you here is the bra cup is one inch away from the armhole repeat same process of fixing the bra cup on the other lining piece back to the main fabric go up by 0.5 inch on the joint lines blend the lines following the curve trim out to keep the hem well curved and rounded next join the shoulder place the fabric right sides together sew both shoulders by 0.5 inch shoulders of the main fabric joined now join the shoulders of the lining fabric by 0.5 inch also it is time to close the neckline right sides of both pieces together you are to sew around 1.5 inch away from the main center front start sewing by 0.5 inch it is necessary to open flat the shoulder seam before sewing across continue sewing until you reach the other center front stopping 1.5 inch before the main center create notches around the seam but ensure not to cut through to sew the side of the top you can decide to take out the lining and sew the fabric first separately before joining the lining in this case i'll sew the side with the lining and main fabric together but first let us turn the hem of the blouse kindly shorten the lining by 0.5 inch now place right sides of fabric and lining together like so it is better to match up the seam lines of both pieces then go ahead to sew by 0.5 inch from one side across the flattened seam lines to the other side notch along the hemline and turn inside out here's how the main fabric will roll backward by 0.5 inch because of the shortened lining turn the hem of the front pieces following the same process we used for the back pieces but stop 1.5 inches before the main center front as shown turn inside out see how the bra cup helps define the bustier cut nicely bringing both center fronts together we are to join only the main fabric first 
joined by 1.25 inches from neckline to the hem. Flat open the seam allowance where we will install the zipper. The right side of the zipper facing the center seam. The lining will be used to cover the zipper like so. Kindly move the zipper away from the hem by 0.75 inch and sew down the zipper on its seam allowance on the other side. Properly center the zipper and start sewing from the neckline to the blouse hem. Remove the loose stitch from the top to the bottom to reveal the zipper and making unzipping possible. Next, bring out the zipper allowance like so. Then cover the zipper tip with the lining piece as shown. Sew down from the neck on this side, close enough to the zipper to the hem. Then close the hem of the blouse under the zipper line. Turn inside out and carefully adjust the zipper in position. Ensure the top of the neckline is matching up. Highlight the point, unzip, go back to the wrong side to close the neckline across the zipper, then cut off the extra zipper as shown. Now the zipper has been successfully installed. Unzipping to see how the wrong side look. Zip and then go ahead to match up the side till we are ready to sew. Moving on to the sleeve, the diameter of the organza circle is 10 inches. Place the organza on fold to highlight the top and bottom, then fold again to highlight the sides. Indicate same markings on the four cardinal points of the sleeve's hole. Match the points on the organza with that on the sleeve and pin in place. As you sew along, pleat in the extra allowances of the organza on the main fabric. By pinning, you get to spread the excess fabric evenly. Taking out the pins and here's how the sleeve look on the wrong side and on the right side. Come in with the main fabric, flatten out the armhole. Lay right sides of the sleeve on the right side of the blouse's armhole. Match up the sleeve around the armhole. Starting from the shoulder, sew the sleeve to one side of the armhole and from the shoulder again, sew in the sleeve to the other side of the armhole. Now the sleeve has been set in, fold in the hem by one inch and sew close to the edge of the fabric from one end to the other. Measure the bust circumference divided by two, mark. From the shoulder, measure the half length, measure the waist divided by two and mark. Then divide again the remaining allowances on the bust and waist, then connect the shape. From the half length, Reduce the allowance to 1 inch and then to 0.5 inch on getting to the hem. Measure the round sleeve divided by 2. Connect the shape from the armhole to the sleeve's hem like so. Flip the blouse and measure from the hem to the half length. Then mark resulting inches on the other side for accuracy. Also mark the inches from the redivision on the waist bust and round sleeve on this side as well then connect the side shape go over to the sewing machine sew starting from the sleeves hem on reaching the armhole jump over the seam continue sewing down from the bust through the waist to the hem backstitch and repeat the same sewing process on the other side when you have overlocked the seam allowances around the armhole then close up the sleeve to the bust the blouse hem is well curved the sleeves well set in the bustier sitting pretty the princess dart line well defined unzipping now to show you that you can notch the waist seam allowance but only do this when the dress has been fitted or you are very sure it will fit. Appliques fixed on the princess dart line and a sleeve and this project is complete. If this tutorial was helpful, please drop a comment, like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more videos. Bye!